Hello everyone, my name is Ankit and now I'm going to show you the raw video versus the edit one. Uh, just watch this for 30 seconds and then I'm going to start the editing process of how I create this look. So just watch this now. Hello everyone, my name is Ankit and welcome to my channel. So I hope you like the video, the before and after that I just showed you now. And now I'm going to tell you the step by step process of how I do it. So the first thing is I always record in higher frames. So I record in 120 frames per second. Now if your camera supports up to 60 frames per second, so you should record in 60 frames. That will give you a smooth look when you slow it down in post production. And most of the time I don't use any stabilizer because I record in higher frames. So that's the benefit of using higher frames. Okay, now let's start. Okay, the first step is I'll select the video and I'll go to interpret footage and you can see that I have recorded in 119 frames. So I can slow it down till 20%. If you're recording in 60 frames, then you can slow it down till 40% and you'll get the smooth look. Now I'll select the part which I'm going to edit. Let's do the in point and let's do the out point. So, and then I'm going to drag this video here and see that it's so shaky so I'm going to slow it down till 20% uh, so it'll give you a little smooth motion but it's not stabilized so the second step I'll do is what I'll do is I'll go to the effects panel and uh, here I'll search for the stabilizer so this is the wrap stabilizer that you can use it so just drag it here Oh. Sometimes you can get rap stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. So what you can do is first of all just delete this, clear this, and then nest this video. And then you're gonna apply. Okay. Now it's started analyzing the video and it'll stabilize the video. So I'll show you the before and after. Just wait for some time. So I'm going to speed up this process. Okay, now you see that it's so stabilized. The video looks awesome now after applying the wrap stabilizer so the third step is I'll create a black title and I'll see that how I create it okay go to the project panel and create an adjustment layer and just drag this adjustment layer onto the timeline now go to the effects panel search your crop apply the crop and now you see that top just set this to 12 and bottom as well 12 so you create this black title this is the third step that I do. Now the fourth step is color grading. So how I color grade is, I go to the effects panel again and then I search here Lumetri. Lumetri. And I drag this Lumetri onto this video. And I go to the basic correction. I In the basic correction I just uh, increase the contrast, decrease the highlights, decrease the whites a little, not, not much, increase the shadows a bit, not much and then go to the creative tab here search for the LUT, I'm going to apply the LUT here and I'm going to give this LUT to you as well you can download for free go to Lohagar video and here apply the cinematic 8 LUT, Cine 8 LUT so this is the LUT and now you can see the before and after. Okay now I'm going to select the music and I'm going to apply the music for it and then I'm going to play for you. And now you can listen to this video. You can listen to the music. So I'll select the in point and the out point. I'll render this video it's so cinematic see the before and after this was the before video
same way you can do for all the videos for example this is a raw video that i shot in the example for the time being i'm just going to mute this audio and the same way i'll do that speed 20 percent and then just copy paste this here and just copy this lumetri panel as well in the adjustment layer and same way i color graded this video see the before and after okay now i'm going to give you the next example i'm going to slow it down till 20 percent the same way and i'm going to unlink this and i'm going to delete this audio part and see this and the same way i'm going to apply this adjustment layer here and you see that look so if you're seeing this little dark then of course you can go ahead and change that little dark and this and decrease this and that's it so let me just render this video for you you can watch this complete video on YouTube and the link is in the description so please go ahead and watch this full video so same way you can do for this video as well so I'm going to speed this down to 40% for this one because I want a little fast motion and then same way I can just use this adjustment layer but here in this video I'm not going to use the Cine 8 LUT 100% I'm just going to decrease this opacity till 40% only and then I'm just going to change this whites I'm going to increase the whites because it's a, it's a sun sunset effect and then I'm going to increase the contrast and then again the vibrance let's give a nice effect okay let's keep it let's keep it 45 percent and then go to the vignetti effect just decrease this a bit okay keep it minus one minus two or minus two will be a lot okay minus one i guess and then Uh, decrease this black a lot okay highlights whites can keep it 30 and then what I can do here is and I go I can go to the video and I can position this video also because I want a little upside effect see we go further oh we are cropping it so we need to find a nice spot yeah this is nice so let me just render this select the in point select the out point and just render this into out now you can see the effect you can see this before and after this is before and this is after and I hope this tutorial helped you. You can watch my other tutorials as well. I create a lot of tutorials on my YouTube channel. So guys, please subscribe to this channel. That will help me to create more tutorials. And you know, I, I really get encouraged when you guys support me. So please, please subscribe it. And thank you. Bye-bye.